Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL R7 which has to do with the inverses of trig functions. So there are a couple things you need to uh, solve these problems with. And the first one is an understanding of the different special right triangles. Uh, right here I pulled the diagram from IXL and then added to it. Just kind of shortcuts to see what sine of 30 equals, what cosine of 30 equals, sine and cosine of 45, and then sine and cosine of 60. And I'll explain why in a little bit, but this is gonna help your work go much quicker. Uh, and then the second thing is the idea of um, the inverse trig functions. So arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, stuff like that. Hopefully you've gone over that in class, but if not, uh, we'll be doing a few problems toward the end that uh, basically require you to use it and uh, okay, we'll move forward from here. So first question, it says X is an acute angle, which means an angle that is going to be smaller than 90. So probably 30, 45 or 60. And it says find the value of X in degrees. So it gives us cosine of X equals square root of three over two. And so this is different from what we've been doing because normally they've given us a function with a degree value and then we're figuring out what our solution is right here. Well, this time they kind of give us the solution to our trig function and we got to figure out what angle it is. Well, I look at all of these degree values for our trig functions, we'll go to cosine, and cosine of 30 is square root of three over two. And we get that through our 60, uh, 30, 60, 90 uh, special right triangle, right? I just did the adjacent over the hypotenuse of where the 30 degree is here, and we end up with the square root of three over two. So cosine of 30 is gonna equal the uh, square root of three over two. So it's gonna be 30 degrees for our degree value here. Okay, um, now we have sine of x equals the square root of two over two. Okay, so we have sine of 30, sine of 45, and sine of 60. We want the square root of two over two, which is gonna be sine of 45. Again, we don't make up that number. We have our special right triangle here, the 45, 45, 90 degree um, triangle. And once you do the opposite over the hypotenuse of this triangle, you get square root of two over two. So this cheat sheet is just there to uh, kind of fast track getting your answers so you don't have to do every triangle, every single problem. We have it as a reference here, which is nice. So the square root of two over two is gonna be for the sine of 45 degrees. So we'll go back here and type in 45 degrees. Okay, now we have tangent of the square root of three. So we'll go back here. And remember, tangent is just sine over cosine. So the numerator or the top of the fraction for tangents is going to be the sine function, the top of the sine function, and the denominator or the bottom part of the tangent function uh, fraction is going to be for cosine. So for instance, this problem here says it wants us to do tangent of x equals the square root of three. Well, that's the same thing as saying the square root of three over one, because tangent is made up of sine over cosine, which means this is gonna correlate with sine, and this is gonna correlate with cosine. And so we wanna go through our different values here and see uh, for which degree value, either 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees, which one of those has sine equaling the square root of three for the numerator and which has cosine equaling one for the numerator. And so we go down to sine of 60 or the 60 degree, sine of 60 and cosine of 60. And we see the numerator down here is the square root of three, which matches our tangent. And then also the denominator or the, the numerator for our cosine here is also one, which is gonna be the denominator for the uh, tangent function. So square root of three over one, we have square root of three and then one for the numerators for 60 degrees because sine over cosine. And so that is going to be our answer. Okay, now the reason why I'm just pulling from the numerators is tangent is um, sine over cosine. Okay, so if we were to actually write out the values here, they would be square root of three over two all over one over two. Okay, and what happens when you divide those? That's really the same thing as square root of three over two times two over one, 
Well, the twos cancel out and we end up with the square root of three over one. So those denominators are always going to cancel out for these because the denominators of everything is, uh, is two. It's always over two. And so that's why I just pulled the numerators from both because the denominators are always going to cancel out. So it's kind of a waste of time. You can do it the way I just did it. But all you have to do is look for the numerator and the uh, numerator of the other one and you're going to be done already. So 60 degrees is going to be our answer for this. Okay, what is the value of tangent of 1? We'll go back to our diagram. And tangent of 1, I guess um, I can write this again. Okay. Um, Tangent of x equals 1 is really tangent of x equals 1 over 1, right? So we want to look for the function that gets us the numerator as 1 and also the uh, numerator of cosine as 1. Okay, um, and we'll, we, when we look at all the signs or the uh, degrees over here across the diagram, we have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. None of them are one and one, one and one, one and one. But since we are dividing, it's really one over square root of three or square root of three over one or square root of two over square root of two. Square root of two over square root of two is going to be one. And again, we can prove it. We can go sine over cosine or square root of two over two divided by square root of two over two. And that's gonna cancel out to just one, right? 2 over 2 is 1, 3 over 3 is 1, square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2 is also going to be 1. And so it looks like the 45 degree um, pattern is going to be our solution here, sine of 45 and cosine of 45, so 45 degrees is our value. Okay, uh, so I think you're starting to get the idea here. This one is cosine, we're going back to cosine and cosine is going to be square root of two over two right here, cosine, uh, which is 45 degrees again. So we'll go back and do 45, great. Okay, so I'm gonna jump. Okay, cotangent of one, that's just going to be um, tangent of one over one, then you flip it, so it's cotangent one over one. If you get any of the uh, other trig functions here that are not sine, cosine, and tangent, then all you're going to do is the same process, except you're going to flip them upside down, right? Okay. So now once you get up to the 80s and the 90s, you're given a function, so tangent of x here. It's going to set it equal not to the fraction that you're used to, but set it equal to a number. Okay, usually a decimal value like this. And so instead of using the triangles like we've been doing, we're just gonna use the calculator here. So you can either get out your graphing calculator or scientific calculator and do the, uh, the arctangent button. Or again, Google's a very nice calculator. So what I'm gonna do is just type in arc and then tangent like that. And then in the parentheses there, I'm going to put 0.6 or just 0.6, I'll do 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and then type in in degrees, because again, the IXL wants the answer in degrees, and it says um, answer as an integer with decimal rounded to the hundredth, so two spots. So I'm gonna click enter, and it gives us a degree value of 30.96. So I'm gonna come over here and type in 30.96, and that is our answer, okay? We have one uh, right here, sine of x equals 0 0.4. We're gonna go back, we're gonna type in arc sine, not sine, but arc sine, of the value over there is 0 0.4. So we'll do 0 0.4 and then in degrees. And it's gonna be 23.58 degrees. 23.58 degrees. Okay, and it's gonna stick that way with the rest of the SMART score all the way up to 100. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna stop the video.
Stay safe, study hard, and I will see you for the next IXL tutorial video later on. Goodbye.